word. Do you think you'd be a good spy? Do you think you'd be a good spy? Y yeah. No, no, I, no. I think, yes, Alexander, yes, I, I know. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think you'd be a good spy, Alexander. You I stick okay. out like a sore thumb. This is why I say no. First of all, you're really, really tall, and everyone's going to notice you. But this is why I'm saying that's that's my thought of no. But I also say yes. One because, first of all, ninety nine percent of people I know don't have a clue what's going on in my life anyway. Mm. So I just don't tell people about what's going on in my life. So I'm pretty good at being covert. And the other thing is, I get on with a lot of people very easily. So the ability to infiltrate, I think, I'd be quite quite good at manipulation. Yeah, but you'd be very. You'd I don't be think very it's manipulation. Noticeable. No. I would be noticeable, but now if you've watched this Lupin. show that's really good called Lupin, being noticeable doesn't matter, apparently. Because yeah. that guy just does anything out in public and yeah. just whatever. Yeah. But being like a six foot eight dude, right? You're like a foot taller than everyone else. I don't think CJ believes you're going to be a good but... spy. Sage, would you believe, <laughs> do you believe you'd be a good spy? Because you're the opposite. You're short. I'm short and not really noticeable. I, I could sit <laughs> in the corner and no one pay attention. What? Do you think so, you're like um, Invisible Man or something? I, I, I would be the quiet achiever. What the, explain it to me. Explain to me why you're a good, uh, a, you'd be a good spy over Alexander. Oh, you wouldn't really notice I'm there. That's it. Why? We'd be talking and I'll just, yeah. <laughs> I'm intrigued. Why do you feel like being not noticed is a quality of a spy? Yeah. Because if someone's going to have a private conversation, mm. right? If we're not going to have it near the guy that they can obviously see who's like a foot taller <laughs> than everyone else. <laughs> so your version of right? being a spy is overhearing conversations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> and plus, you make a much bigger target. Uh, so, are you saying James Bond isn't a good spy? Why? How tall is he? <laughs> it's nothing to do with spy. <laughs> comes down to the yeah, quality of a spy comes down to the height. <laughs> I think I think you need to be between six foot there is, and five. There's a direct eight. correlation Average. between height <laughs> and quality of spydom. <laughs> I think to be a good spy, you have to be average. You can't have anything that's noticeable. So what you're saying is they need to re rethink, go back to the drawing board on James Bonds, and they need to go find the most average looking person. Average height, yeah. average shoe size, average weight. Yeah. I don't because <laughs> you wouldn't blend into a crowd. I don't know how to I don't know how to go forward from this. <laughs> Would you want him to blend into blend into a crowd? Does ja does James Bond blend into the crowd? Not really. But <laughs> James Bond's a movie character. No, Right. Oh, as opposed to the other spies that you know. <laughs> yeah, like, 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 get smart. That guy blends into a crowd. Are you? Wait, 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 wait! You just told me James Bond was a movie character, and then you referenced Get Smart, a TV character. <laughs> it's different. Movie, TV, movie. I thought Get, I thought Get Smart was um, what's his name? The film. No, it was a, it was a TV oh, show. It, it was a I TV show it, back TV, in the. TV uh, series. Yeah, when yeah. spies were big. Oh, I think they made a fit. What's it, uh, Steve? Yeah. Correct. Carell. Carell, yeah. Carell. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I, I, I feel to be a good spy, you have to be kind of average. Like, you don't want to be noticed, but you don't want to be invisible. So, okay. It's going to be eh. But you want to be noticed this. by the right people, though, because sometimes I, I you have to I want to follow this, though. What, what does a spy do, CJ? Spy. <laughs> <laughs> like, what shit? <laughs> it's it's in the name. <laughs> he spies on stuff. So, he so looks at think, things. You think he spies, pays attention. You think they're surveillance? Yeah, pretty much. They go into a room and they watch what's going on. I think spies get in there more like undercover. So they have to like work their way into whichever groups they're working their way into and not be noticed and See, be but, taken but seriously. But you have to be average not to be noticed. <laughs> no, but there's certain groups, if you're average, they won't want you in their group. 
And also, I feel like if I'm not you're... Sa- I'm, not, I'm not saying you can't be a badass. Like, I feel... You know? You just have to be average. I feel like if you're in and amongst... Because typically, if you're a spy, you're not going to be amongst average people. Like, you're going to be amongst high-profile people. And I feel like mm-hmm. if you're average in and amongst a bunch of high-profile people, like, that would make you stick out even more. But... Okay. <laughs> So what you're saying is you, you need to be on average. Maybe there's different spies for different circumstances. Yeah, maybe it's like an, an acting job where you need different different um, heights and looks and widths and everything. Yeah. For example, because if you wanted you, to you infiltrate could, you the could NBA. Not... Yeah, you can't send me. <laughs> I do not... I will not be average in that group. I do not fit in. 